guys, what's going on? It's DJ TLM, you're watching DJ TLM TV. Right here, I have the Microsoft Surface Pro 3. Now, this looks like a tablet, but it's actually a very powerful computer. Today, I'm gonna test and see if this could be a possible solution for DJs and producers. I'm gonna test it with Survival DJ, maybe even take a look at Machine. So, let's take it through the tests right now. The tablet that can replace your laptop. This is how Microsoft describes the Surface Pro 3. Right here, I'm running Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, you can definitely not do that with a normal tablet. So even though it looks like a tablet and it feels like a tablet with the multi-touch screen, this is a powerful computer running on a full version of Windows 8.1 Pro. Now, when you add the optional type cover, and I suggest that you do get the type cover, you turn it into a laptop and it really gives you that laptop feel. Now, there are a lot of specifications that I can go through. I'm just gonna put some of the main specs on screen right now just to show you that this is much more than a tablet. Now, for my test video, I'm using the i5 version. There's one more optional piece of equipment that I didn't get a chance to test and that is the docking station. And with the docking station, you get five USB ports, an ethernet port, audio in and out, and a lot more functionality. So that would be a very good option to get. Now this is not gonna be a review, this is just gonna be a test to see if the Surface Pro 3 would be a good replacement for my laptop when it comes to using it for DJing and producing. Now this is the performance test right here, and this is gonna answer the most important question straight away. Will Serato DJ run on the Surface Pro 3? Yes, it will. And I chose to do a little bit of turntablism just to test the performance and the response, and I have to say, it was just great. I was using the Surface Pro 3 with my Pioneer DJM 900 SRT, and that combo worked great. Now here's where I ran into my first little problem. As you can tell, I'm having some trouble trying to trigger my hot cues. I'm using the Surface Pro 3 without the type cover, so right now I have to do everything on screen. And even though that 12 inch screen is beautiful, all the functions inside Serato DJ do become very small on that screen. So in combination with my thick fingers, that did not work very well. Now the second thing is if you're gonna use it without the type cover, it also means that you have to load your songs by dragging them from your crates onto the decks. And this is a dangerous situation. And I don't like to do it like that because I will always have my decks running. So if I drag a track and I drop it early, it's gonna drop into a deck that's already playing and that's gonna be a disaster. Your best option would be to use the type cover because that's gonna give you the same functionality as the keyboard on a normal laptop. But here's another problem. As you can tell, when I put it on my laptop stand, it will not hold in place because the Surface Pro 3 and the type cover are not one solid unit. And my laptop stand was not big enough to use the kickstand on the Surface Pro 3 to keep it in place either, so my type cover is not an option. Luckily, I do have a solution for this problem and I will get back to that in a minute. I also tested the kickstand just to see if the Surface Pro 3 could be used in the upright position and as you can see right here, that's not really good, it slides to the back, so your best option would be to keep it in that flat position. It'll be a lot steadier, and I think it has a better viewing angle as well. Now, how can I use the Surface Pro 3 without the type cover and still control all the functions inside Serato DJ without using the touchscreen? Here it is. This is the Pioneer DDJ SP1 and it's the add-on controller for Serato DJ. Now the SP1 allows me to control and trigger a lot of functions inside the Serato DJ software and as you can tell, I do not have to touch the screen to do this. So I can use my hot cues, my effects, I can trigger loops, browse through my tracks, load the songs onto the decks, so this is the perfect solution. So in my case, the best thing to do is to have the Surface Pro 3 on one laptop stand and have the SP1 on a laptop stand right next to it to control all the functions. And that's gonna work just fine. Now, of course, for DJs that are using a controller, this is the same thing. You will be controlling the functions inside the software from your controller, so you will not need the type cover. So you could use it in that setting that I'm using right here on my desk or have it on the laptop stand without the type cover, without any problems. 
Now I did also do a quick test with Machine, and since Machine is a controller, it's basically the same story. You're gonna be controlling most of the functions straight from the controller. But I do also like to do some stuff on screen, so in that case, I would use it with the type cover and not the way I'm using it right here. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you liked the info. If you have any more questions, you know where to find me, DJTLMTV at DJTLM.com. If you like this info, make sure to click that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I'll be back very soon. Take care.